Hello Sagittarius, it's Lisa with Heart of Inspiration. And here at this channel, we're here to help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. And we are here for your June 2019 general reading. Now this is for sun, moon and or rising, okay? So that's why we're all together. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you very much for being here. And if this is your returning subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. Alrighty, let's get to the reading because yours is pretty interesting this month. Oh, let me go over this first. Overall energies, okay? Now, you guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and or share. And please do leave me a comment. Sagittarius, overall energy for June, you're going to be qu quite you, okay? With the temperance card, quite you. I see a level of patience coming both for yourself, patient with yourself, and patient with other people. Um, you're also, and this is more patience, because this is with the Queen of Crystals, and we're using the Star Child Tarot deck here. You know, you're really wanting to be a giver, a lover, a nurturer. Nurture things back to health is what I'm hearing. Nurturing yourself back to health. Nurturing your relationships back to health. Nurturing things back to life. Um, because, hane bane, there is a Tawa moment of come in. Okay, in June. And so I do believe that that's why we're having to be very nurturing to ourselves. I keep hearing that. Be nurturing to yourself, honey. Be nurturing to yourself, all right? Um, and there's gonna, definitely going to be, we're going to see some brand new starts this month as well with the Ace of Wands. So overall, I'm not feeling like it's a bad energy. Um, let's just see what we have with the rest of the cards. So coming in the energy coming towards you this month from the reading is the eight of wands here. We have the eight of wands. And so let me use the mythic tarot. The eight of wands. So forward movement, um, that kind of, that very much coincides with the overall energy cards. Um, you're moving past with this three of swords energy here. Moving past disappointment, you're moving beyond it. There was some disappointment that occurred. Um, I feel like that some people that you were going, that you were really in partnership with, really let you down, big time. Um, they kind of, um, you know, they told you they were going to do one thing and they didn't follow through. Now this could be a relationship, this could be a situationship, this could just be a working relationship, um, an entrepreneur or business. But it's like someone that, that you really were depending upon let you down and it it rocked you and that's and if it hasn't happened yet, look for it in June. I mean don't make it happen, but don't be surprised when it does. And that's when I believe the tower moment comes and you recognize that really you have the ability and the seed within yourself to manifest uh, everything that you've been really wanting to look for uh, look. You know, that you've been looking for and with the four of pentacles as well you're gonna do a little retreat I do feel that energy coming towards you it's gonna be some retreat um you're going to be, be rather atypical and lay back in the cut a little bit and say okay what do I need to do now remember this is a general reading Sun Moon or rising the shoe don't fit don't try to keep putting it on all right energy you're bringing to the table though we have the awakening card here which is really very significant of like um the world card it's it's uh you know a chapter closing and you are awakening to higher truths perhaps higher truths about yourself you know a lot of times within disappointment we can learn things about ourselves because when we let someone in close enough where they truly can disappoint us, where we, when we depend upon someone so much that um, they can get close enough to affect us in that way. A lot of, t you know, I tell you 99% of the time I learn something about myself through that process. And I grow to a higher spiritual level through that process. And it's not because it's like, oh my God, see, they did that. See, you can't trust people. No, that's not it. It's then I look at that relationship and say, well, what is it that I did not think I possessed within myself? Or what injury or what pain, what hurt, what whatever was I really feeling? 
within myself that I myself could not, or I, I needed them to, to, to fill that void. Does that make sense? Fill that void. Yep, and then now with the Fool card, so through this awakening in June, you're going to embark on a new adventure, which makes perfect sense. Look, the chapter's closing. You're moving past heartache, right? You're moving past the heartache. You're kind of going within. You're letting the chapter close because you're going to have the energy to do that. You're going to, and it takes your energy, Sag, to cut off a little bit. So it's since it takes the energy that's coming to you. This is what spirit's bringing to you. This is what source the universe is bringing to you, yeah? And so now you're going to be able to close that chapter and start afresh and start anew, right? And really be able to see your future for the bright um, future that it is. Yeah, and here we have the Nine of Pentacles. Very independent. The Nine of Pentacles, two, my two favorite cards in the whole deck. The Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Because that means a personal completion, right? That's a personal completion and a personal, like, I'm really feeling myself. I'm loving myself. And with the Nine of Pentacles, I know that I am, that I have, I possess the I am consciousness to uh, manifest, okay? Now, what could be a problem? The Ten of Wands. Could you not want to really let go of the backstabbing? Could you not want to really let go of the burdens? Could you want to carry it around like it's a badge of honor? Woe is me. I've been hurt. I'm a victim. Sound vaguely familiar? It could. Now, I'm not talking bad about you, Sag. I love you. I'm just, let's kind of all be honest, okay? That's a human trait that a lot of people do, right? How And unwilling to make a new start with that Ace of Wands. This is all obstacle. So this, the Ace of Wands energy, want, and like pushing you to make a new start, could, could potentially come in conflict with this Ten of Wands energy. Oh, I've got these burdens. I'm not sure if I want to really move on with them. Kind of the what was me kind of stuff. If this is an obstacle, that's how I'm seeing it. Like you kind of don't want to let it go. Because quite honestly, you're probably getting some good sympathy from everybody. Because, you know, hey, you got you got taken care of. You know, something happened. Um, and also this chariot. So basically with the chariot energy, all of that, that is all about forward movement with that Ace of Wands. I'm a Cancer. Let me tell you, being a cardinal sign... Once the chapter has closed, now it might take me a little while to close the chapter. You know, some of us, it does take a minute, I'm not going to lie. So, you know, I, I'm going to be honest about myself, right? And my fellow cancers. Sometimes it'll take us a while to close the chapter, but when it's closed, and we're like, moving on, we go. And we, we go full steam ahead. We are gone. And so the, this is going to be a conflict for you. Do you press? Now, remember, you've got Eight of Wands energy coming in to help you. Yet, that's not as strong a forward movement energy as a Chariot or the Ace of Wands. So, you've got this kind of, like, gentle push. And I believe that what's going to happen to you during June is your spirit is going to be like, yes, let's go. I've been waiting for you to get rid of that loser. I've been waiting for you to get rid of her or him. Or whatever, you know, you I've been waiting for you to cut the dead weight. Could be friends, family, co-workers, you know, business partners, whatever. Your spirit is like, I've been waiting for my third dimensional body to finally cut this dead weight. Now can we get going? And the third dimensional body, the third dimensional mind is like, no, because I'm still in my feels. Get out your feels, Sag. Okay, what's going to really help you is remembering this, that you've got the Ten of Crystals. There's going to be so much abundance. It's the Ten of Pentacles that is in the, those crystals are in the form of the Kabbalah Tree of Life. Yes. So listen, there's so much abundance and, man, and, and manifest destiny almost, you know, waiting for you. Um, that 
and the ability and the desire to just have this queen of swords energy walk in your truth keep slicing people out that don't belong there and you can do it tactfully and with um divine feminine energy but you need to keep that divine feminine energy pure and keep it keep your thoughts as you're walking in the divine energy pure towards your destiny you know the queen speaks she might speak it with love but she's speaking and she has every expectation of what she says gets decreed now she might not come at you as violently as that king of swords but she still nonetheless is a force to be reckoned with so let your words be a force to be reckoned with let your words right ring true and not the falseness that has been perpetrated upon you in this situation goodness here's the queen now we didn't see the queen of pentacles now we have the queen of swords we have the queen of cups all we need is the queen of wands there's so much divine feminine energy here now you do also need the divine masculine to create right you need the two together however this person that has or is going to potentially hurt you or you disappoint that other person whatever the case is there's going to be a need for love and truth and patience that's why the temperance card came out as an overall energy as well love truth and patience so if you've done some crap you got to be true with yourself don't lie to yourself that's the worst person you can lie to well don't lie to anybody but when you lie to yourself you can't grow You can't grow if you're lying to yourself, Sagittarius. You can't grow because if you're not speaking truth about your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts, about your life in general, you are going to create more illusion. Now, y'all might as well write that one down. If you keep speaking falseness, keep lying over your life, you're going to continue to create illusion and confusion. All right, now that'll preach. Now here we go with the page of crystals. That is the outcome or the advice. New ways to make um new ways to make money, new ways to manifest. The seven of swords and the nine of wands wanted to be uh acknowledged. Some Sagittarians, this is not going to be for all of you all, but for some of you all. Some Sagittarians, you know, I just said, if you continue to lie to yourself, you're going to continue to create illusion and confusion. Some of y'all are standing in that lie so strong. Like, it's it's not, an, and I'm, I'm going to call this a self-deception. I'm going to call it a self-deception. You deceived yourself so so much to the point and you're so uh, 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 defensive about it I am concerned that when this tower moment comes when this disappointment comes you're not gonna grab a hold of the energy and the reason why it came see people are removed out of our lives dead weight is lifted so that we can move forward and upward right upward and onward um, when you get the dead ends cut from your hair that's so your hair can grow with the dead ends, it stunts the growth. So let's go on and see what's going on with these new ideas, new inventions. Yep, and you're gonna come into greater balance because if you notice, there's not a lot of fire energy in this reading. There's a lot of earth energy in this reading, a lot of air and some water. So there's not a lot of fire. You don't need the fire. Well, here we go. Ace of Pentacles. Brand new manifestation manifested starts. This is a really if you if you know what? If you could grab a hold of this energy, love on yourself and don't lie to yourself. Be honest. If you screwed somebody else over, then be honest about it. If they screwed you over, instead of trying to give them excuses as to why, man, come on now. Stop it say okay they did this all right i forgive them i forgive myself for being in that position i forgive them but i'm telling you there's some people out here that you've been so you've been telling 
this story. You've created this illusion, this story about yourself so strongly. And it's so vivid. That Sag, it's like you're going to defend it to the end. You've created this Leave it to Beaver, this Cliff Huxtable, you know, uh, even Blackish. You know, you've created this, the, 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 this fantasy world. And because you created this fantasy world that you've lied to yourself and told everybody else you had, now it's a problem because it's all coming down. Everything's tumbling down. So as you're going, are you going to be strong and wrong like my good friend Mona Simone said, or are you going to, you know, finally recognize that you need to be honest with yourself, baby. You got to be honest with yourself. And if there's stuff that you have to um, work on, then love, work on it. You know, there's no shame in that. There's no shame in that. All right, well, I'm going to get off my darn uh, podium, pedestal, soapbox. You all, please, um, I don't know if you've noticed in the slideshow below, but I am having a June subscriber giveaway. This month, I'm going to actually give three lucky winners um, their choice of either a Reiki energy healing session or um, a... Uh, one hour long intuitive reading that could include mediumship, tarot, whatnot. Um, I'm going to give three of you all an uh, opportunity to win that. Um, and that's going to be at the end of June, beginning of July. So how you get entered into that, you may ask. All you need to do is be a subscriber and, um, and like and comment, okay? Comment down below this video and any and all videos in June and I will enter you into my June subscriber drawing. Okay, this is what we have. I'm drawing from the Isis Oracle cards. We have Portal of Light. She glides on wings through time and space. This is a wonderful card. Let's see what this card is about. Portal of Light. She glides on wings through time and space. Bear with me one moment. All right. It is only this physical reality that is bound by time and space. You are being, you are a being conscious on levels beyond the physical world. You are guided to work with your healing powers beyond the confines of time and space and to allow your sense of self to expand. It is safe for you to do this now. Your sense of self. Huh. I wonder where I heard that. You will not become ungrounded through such spiritual growth awakening card you are not leaving your earthly awareness you are instead adding to it oh child let me finish let me read a couple more sentences here hold on now you are growing in power and awareness sagittarius you have had breakthrough insights where you realize that you are not who you thought you were you are in fact a much vaster being sometimes this was shocking and uncomfortable and difficult to accept at other times it was gentle and made much sense to you you are learning to integrate this awareness into your vast self of your vast self into your life the practical consequences of doing so are extraordinary to live with less and less fear and insecurity to become more detached and more passionate more loving and less demanding to need less and receive more to feel more joy and exert less force to attain it such wonderful gifts await you sag i can't say nothing else i'm done um you all thank you so very much i really do appreciate you being here uh please check out um the end screens on this video you're going to find a couple other uh, videos that i believe you will enjoy watching um at least one and then um also please do check out my seven day meditation challenge if you have had some difficulty uh, meditating, I think that's a very, very uh, good challenge to take into account, get you started on the meditation um, journey. And also check out the links to Shonda Rai's um, uh, channel and also Will Brown's Cardamancy. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys. Namaste. Bye-bye.